Okay, I am back at it. It is the same day. Uh, it's been about maybe half an hour, but I am back. I'm going to play some more FNAF Into the Pit. Uh, we left off. We are trying to find the crying kid. We left dad at home. Actually, assumedly... Where did these two go? Oh, okay, so now I'm getting chased by different scary monsters. They even look creepier torn apart. No, I actually think they don't look creepier torn apart. Unpopular opinion. I think they look like, uh... The wallet belongs to dad. Okay, so dad is in here. He didn't steal his body. He just stole his look. Rat trap. Wait, can I wear the mask? I don't think so. Um, I think that the animatronics look like more like you could beat them up without their skin and stuff. They look more, they look weaker. Like I could dump. I'm not going to finish that sentence. So now all of a sudden you don't- now all of a sudden you don't like the- the animatronics. Uh, but I'll help later. Now we gotta worry about- I don't have sense- ooh! Now I gotta worry about the other animatronics. So that's a problem! That's actually kind of mortifying. Oh, I was about to say, am I just gonna walk past it? Try and get help. How would you get in there? Fair question. Something grabbed me and stuffed me in. It feels like the soup is going to snap shut. I think I can loosen the bolts with the screwdriver. I will find one. Oh, I don't have one yet. Run! Can I leave again? No. Nah. Wait. Yeah, let me out. Who's he saying that to? Okay, whatever. I, I guess he said he saw what happened last time. He's kind of breaking the fourth wall. So everything's locked. Locked, 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 locked. I can only go back to the ball pit or the backstage. I'll be in the backstage then. I missed it. <laughs> Hi, guy. Hi, man. Hi, dude. Oh, I do fall after a while. Ooh, a coin. Maybe it's back in the freaking ball pit. Do I go back home to find the screwdriver? Yo! So I travel- that's actually cool that I can just freely travel between them. A really cool mechanic. I maybe I can ask this guy if he has a screwdriver. But dude, man, they really leveled up the game. Anything? Oh, whoa! I can I can freaking free roam all of a sudden. Oh, okay. Bike seats loose. Oh shoot! Between me and me, I don't pay for trash pickup, but I forgot to dump the butt. Take out the trash. Take around the trash. Okay. Thank you. Alright. Oh, that's why I have to keep finding batteries. I wish I didn't put one in that stupid machine back there now. I guess this is the try the dump. Night one. <clears throat> Okay. How do, I, how do I dump the trash? What the crap is this? Oh wait, wait, wait. There we go. That was actually really... Get the key? Oh, he's gonna give it... Why did he give me the flashlight for that? It literally said I shouldn't use the flashlight. Here we go. Oh, nope, nope. I know. Okay, here we go. Thanks, kid. Saving my aching back. Okay, we're going to the basement now. Which I believe is the next door, yeah. Oh, it's behind the backstage. Wait, so can, can I go play arcade games with my token first, then? What happened here? Control panel. Dude, I'm collecting all of Radio Shack in my back pocket right now. I've got batteries, <laughs> a brat trap, 
phone control panel. But I meant what I was talking about was the puzzle matrix control panel and weight resistance mechanism. Is that not a door? No, that's not a door. I'm going up there. Okay. I like exploring in games. Oh, they only work in the past. That's right. So this kid has just totally accepted the fact that he that there's a time traveling ball pit. Like he fully understands that. Okay, so none of these work. Okay, right, I'll just go to the basement. I do not like this. <laughs> I've never seen Jeff use this before. Explains all of these stains on the floor. I was talking like Dr. Seuss. Okay. To the basement! Oh, I've got to use the key. Oh, oh, he gave me the flashlight for down here. Another battery. Have fun. My goal right now is to mess around his place. What do you mean? Did I already get it? No. Oh. I've got to look for it in the past. Don't I? That was a cool sentence, bro. <laughs> well, like a protagonist there. I guess I am the protagonist in the video game. I have to look for it. In the past. Okay. <laughs> that kid has been chilling in there for years. Uh, oops. One. Eight. Oh, no wonder I need the freaking. Oh my gosh. That's a suit. Bingo. Let me keep looking. That thing is definitely alive. Like, that thing is waiting to eat me, bro. I grab the thing from here too. No. I'm not gonna run because I don't want to be grabbed. Run! All right, here we go. Okay, okay, I get it. I get it. Who? Do, who why are you crying? Like, I know you're stuck in this, but like, you're. People cry to get attention, to get help for things. He has help. I'm right here with a screwdriver in my hand. Shut up. Oh. There you go. Is it Chip? New kid? Crying kid. One second I was talking to my friend and then... Wait, so is this the the crying kid, but I'm changing the past? Oh, for now. Oh. Sounds good to me. I'm not touching anything, by the way. This is him. <laughs> ne never mind. Let's get out of here. Wait, I'm looking for my dad. You haven't seen a tall man wearing a blue shirt, have you? I mean, like an adult? No, I haven't. Look, man, I wish I could help you, but... Run! To the ball pit. Yo, whoa, what are those kids doing there? I didn't get a lot of time to look for dad, but I think I need a better plan first. I'm sorry, dad. Stay safe until you get back. Yeah, I was about to say, so I should be able to go home now. Day two. Hearing a ladder makes a lot of noise. Okay, thanks, game. Yo, what? Oh, is this like the day that I just lived? Oh, it was a dream. No! Or was it all just a dream? I guess I should start, I should start the day then. I'm, I'm gonna go off on a limb. Why do I still look scared? It's daytime. 
Parents' bedroom, okay. I'm gonna go off on a limb. Say it wasn't a dream. A rising sixth grader, huh? The first day of school, are you still asleep, young man? I hope not. And the strange dream about dad. Don't worry, that's fine. He's waiting for you in the dining room. What? That doesn't seem like a very dadly thing. I think the dining room's over here. Yeah, that's not my dad. Maybe I'll just skip breakfast today, but your dad wanted to eat with you this morning. Maybe another morning. But don't forget your lunch, so you don't starve today. Sure. Lunch bag? No, I'll sit down next to my butt. Why is he looking at me like that? Where's my lunch bag? Back here? My mom's gonna turn into one too. Go to school. I wanna eat with him. Maybe that is the moral lesson of FNAF. Don't judge a book by its cover. Could be a nice guy. I mean, he's eating pizza, it turns out, not the kids, I think. Unless those ghost kids. I'm just not gonna think about it. Uh, okay, here we go. Just go to school then. <laughs> Nothing happened last night. Normal day. Yeah, see? Normal day. Just school. Learning. Learning lots. I can't stop thinking about that thing. Is that dynamite? I don't know. I wish I could just run away. I don't blame you. We could eat lunch at a time like this. Sure that's a good idea, Jeff. You can leave, but if you, you're gonna be such a chicken. That looks like a crying kid. I think it's just because he has glasses, though. Oh, it was. It was firecrackers, but... Yeah, you did that on your bed, teacher. Get out of there. Get him. Oh. No, I want to shoot hoops. Yo, the thugs. Smells like fresh meat. That'd be my lunch. Oswald, the ocelot, has forgotten how to eat. That was like the one thing you could do right. Har, har, har. Good one, Dylan. Dang, they want to beat me up. Um, I do not care. Yep. Settle down, class. Remember the bell has to ring before you are dismissed. That was a short day. Kid with the fire. It wasn't. Wasn't it these guys? The pointed student. Okay, it's not those guys. Oh, huh? we did work today. Okay, same thing. Wait, who had the firecracker then? It wasn't these guys. Maybe it's the teacher. Nope, stop. Nothing. Oh. Back to school. Back to school poster the final nail in the coffin for summer vacation. Hey you. You're the firecracker kid. Name's Jet. But that has a nice ring to it too. Do you have any more I could borrow? First off, kid, you can't just borrow a firecracker. They're a kind of one time use only. Oh okay, yeah, then can you give me one? Uh do you have any idea what these things cost? Tell you what, I'm usually at the library after school. Bring me something I could get, I couldn't get anywhere else, and maybe we can trade. Oh, wait, so I get him something from the past. Or I, get, or I just break this glass, grab a trophy, and then hand it to him. <laughs> okay, actually, I'm just gonna leave. How about you read a book on how to not be a loser? Come on, guys. Let's stop wasting time on this nerd. Oh, that was another bully. I should have done a bully voice. My bad. Yo, FNAF girlfriend. Don't listen to them. Dylan's just jealous because you know how to read. Uh -huh, thank you. The bullies picked on me for reading at my old school, too. Well, then. They must be pretty stupid. I read a ton of sci- Oh, wait. I read a ton of sci-fi. What are you reading? Ancient Greek mythology. I make fun of this nerd too. Oh, uh, I've been uh, meaning to get around to that one. Oh, it's not much different from science fiction, really. It's all about being brave and ducking impossible situations. Hmm. Well, if you ever want to read something with pictures in it, 
I'd be happy to lend you a comic. Oh, if you like art, maybe you'll actually have a use for this thing. I was helping my grandpa clear out some junk yesterday, and I found his own sketchbook. There's some neat drawings in there. Okay, her grandpa is definitely an animatronic inventor. I'm gonna press I. Open sketchbook, here we go. E. That's what I thought. Oh, wow, Bonnie. Hey. Why is she starting to smell so bad? What's that smell? Tech 2 just noticed the smell too. It's not just me. Retorts of repairs. Disable smelling protocol during daytime to avoid Chica stealing food. Cries. Kids cry if they see it in the end home mouth. New behavior. Chica is making garbage nests. Make all employees aware all garbage needs to be taken out before closing. So it was making nests and stealing food. Do not attempt to play God on his guitar. Any voice box malfunctions must be reported to upper management. A just hug fractured a kid's back again. Why is that even protocol? How many times has this been? Adjusting yet again. We continue on. Glue hat to head. Keeps kids keep stealing it. Uppers don't care about safety. Jaws are still unpredictable with the new models. Why does he keep screaming? Keep bright flashes away from Freddy's sight. Sends him into a frenzy and blows the circuits. No camera flashes. Remember, the dark eyes are watching. That's how it works. Whoa, that's kind of cool. So is it directly connected to his mouth? AI programming causing Freddy to stalk party goers by guarding doors. Tech 2 is on assignment. Tech 2 knows something. Where is he? Wait, who's Tech 2? Freddy keeps trying to move his own head. Tech 2 on assignment. No raves. Tech pulled fifth no show in a row. Note for later. Cupcake is an animatronic. The random stuff starts to appear in places it doesn't belong. Encourage others to be vigilant. This is a health code violation. No kidding. More random stuff appears and everything begins to form a circular pile. The pile has clearly formed with an incident with an indent in the center. Chico will bring stolen food to the pile and eat it. Not that the upper's here. Recent security update fried the AI. Chica stuck in preservation protocol as a self-soothing mechanism at night during security rounds. Someone got into the cupcake's voice box and programmed it to growl. Tech 2 has been asked. Tech 2 missing. It bites. Keep fingers alive. Oh, the guitar. The guitar model. Upper management requested all old strings be dumped off-site due to impending lawsuit. Tech 2 is asked to dump them at the moment. Okay, Tech 2 is not trustable. Probably won't. Don't want to be sued. Oh, wait. After electrician incident. Poor kid. Animatronic eye detector diagram. Whoa. Padding. Endoskeleton. Question marks. Right. Oh, this is a place for stickers. Okay, that's cool. Very cool touch. For the lore and everything. No way. He used to be some kind of technician. No kidding. Which was a noise from his old job. He doesn't want to talk about it though. Yeah, no kidding again. I was supposed to throw it away, but didn't want to waste the paper. Good for her. She didn't want to waste the paper. Wow. Hey, haha, yeah. I'm Gabrielle, by the way. I'm Oswald. This is an interesting sketchbook, Gabrielle. Thanks. Go home. Okay, I get it. I don't want to. I should go home. Okay. Well, you know what? I kind of want to go home. What about the mill during the day? This isn't nearly as bad during the day. Wait, that's the- oh, this is the- the balloon friends. Oh, it just went away from, uh, Ultimate Custom Night. That's cool. Alright, back to Bunny Man. We're gonna play for a little bit longer, even though it's a bad time. We'll play until we're back at the ball pit. Oh. Honestly, I'd probably be running too. Well, I haven't been caught yet, so I don't even know what he does to me. Like, I'm just chilling around him half the time, and then run randomly. All right, time to go back to Jeff's. What's the plan? I think I have a plan now. Gotta get out of here first. What? So he's gonna be in this room. I mean this room. I mean this room. I'm at the room at the front door.
What is... How is mom gonna get in? Is mom in? Must have barricaded it from the outside. Good thing there's a garage, right? Oh, basement. But how do I... Okay, I'm lost. I wanna go check on mom, actually. I can hear what room he's in. Where's mom? Oh wait, this must be her, her like night thing. That's a window. That's a window. That's a window. So I, I got a phone number for Kef's Pizza. Four fives and three threes. I wonder what happens if I call it. Jeff's Pizza. Home of Jeff's Pizza. This is Jeff. Oswald. Has there anything weird happened since I left? Toilet it back up. So no? No, by Oswald. I, what was all that for? So, do I need to, uh, blow something up? Get out of my house? Or could I just go out of my window? Where do I go? What? Watch it pause. Oh, rope. Oh! Hey, I did it! Wait, so can I go back in? Oh, okay. That was actually way easier than I thought it was gonna be. Good thing I- Wait, good thing I picked up the rope! No, it was in the basement. I could've found that. Hey, Jeff. Don't cause me trouble. I think that was his voice from earlier. Who is this? Enraged customer. It's taking forever to get my pizza. I swear the longer I wait, the more I can hear rats in the walls. Like, what if the kitchen has rats? Even worse, what if the cooks are rats? Don't tell me to calm down. You must have musophobia. Distracted and paranoid. Not paranoid. There is rats here. I've seen them. Also, good ratatouille reference, I guess. Time to go back into the ball pit. The voice I heard before. Wonder where it came from. Okay, so we are back in the ball pit, and it's been a full day. And it's also been about half an hour. So I'm gonna end episode three here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Getting a little scarier. Uh we learned some stuff about the animatronics today. And I'm sure we'll learn more about the next time when we save Dad. Ah, sorry. That was a devious stretch. Um, I'll see you all in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Farewell.